Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back once again. It's been old Superstar to be here with you guys. Today, we are playing some more Clash Mini. Guys, are y'all enjoying this game? It is a lot of fun. Uh, today, we're going to be playing on my mini account. So this is my free-to-play account. I have two accounts right now. One that I, like, bought the Battle Pass on, that I'm buying skins on, and all that kind of stuff. Just to have and be able to push up and, and whatnot, just like I have with Clash Royale. And then we've got this account, which is going to be my mini account. And here's the cool thing about the game, is like this is my mini account, and I already have a three-star Spear Goblin. Um, so there are lots of ways that you can level up. And like you can see all this these little icons with the question mark. Those are all um, units. So from this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When I complete all those, I'm going to get eight units um, or eight minis, which is like crazy. I'm going to get eight minis. Um, and currently, I have all but the Ewiz on this account. And so that means that out of those eight, hopefully I can level some up to like two, two star, maybe get another one to three. Like the Archer is probably my favorite mini right now, if I'm honest. The Archer is probably my favorite mini. Let's just go ahead and jump in here. I want to see what we need to do. Um, when nine, so we need to use some challenge coins, uh, for our quests and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and go, um, mini P.E.K.K.A. And then we'll, we'll roll with, I don't, Ice Wiz is okay. I feel like I need the miner because he's super good in the back. Um, but I don't know. He's good at getting the E-Wiz out. Let's just, we're, we're, we're going to mess around. We're gonna, hey, we're just, we're just here to have fun. This is going to be kind of like a live stream, even though it's not a live stream. Also, if you guys want me to live stream, leave a like on this video because I would love to. Um, I think that it would be a lot of fun. Um, all right, so I'm going to have to go here and here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the Archer, and I'll show you why I love the Archer, especially with the one-star upgrade. Um, the Archer is so incredibly clutch with that one-star upgrade. Um, watch this. So the Archer right now, it always targets the farthest away unit, okay? So here's a little tip. If you find yourself facing somebody with the Archer and you're getting annoyed because your Archer or one of your units is dying, put your tank directly behind the Archer and then their Archer will target um, your tank and then your tank will move forward and your Archer will stay alive. Um, which is really good. We probably won't be able to win this. I'm not sure how much... Uh, oh, no, we can. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, I told you guys the archer was freaking good. Am I right? Yes, I'm right. Let's go. Okay. Um, so here we go. So he didn't use that thing last time. He did line up, and he didn't even line up on ours. He lined up just dead in the middle. Um, so two star archer attacks hit uh, multiple things. I don't. I guess I'll go here. Uh, we'll see. All right. So he's kind of just hanging out in the middle. I don't. I don't know if this guy's a bot. Or what? But look at my archer, guys. Taking out his his magic archer. Easy. When you level it up, it targets two uh, units. For some reason, my archer isn't targeting his archer, but that's okay because our mini P.E.K.K.A. is now. Um, yeah, our archer might go down here. Look at that, guys. Come on. Archer is like, legit. You might look at it, and it's only a two cost, so you can level it. If you have lots of cheap units, you could go... Oh, heck yeah. I'm going to re-roll, see if I can get bowler again. Nice. Watch this. This is going to be sick. If he even lines th lines this up. Okay, so what I was talking about, um, watch this. We'll throw, I don't think his archer's leveled up. So we'll do this, and our archer should not get targeted by his archer. So his archer, no, nah, his archer is level one. So watch, it's going to target mini P.E.K.K.A. and giant skeleton. Um, is something targeting our, now his archer is targeting our archer, it looks like, um, as it moved forward. But... At the beginning, I think something must have died. Um, <clears throat> but it's super cool. Like, that's a really easy way to just trick people, or to not trick people, but to counter uh, their archers whenever they're in there and they're being super strong uh, and they're annoying you by taking out your stuff. All right. Use clash abilities. Yep. Yo, let's just jump straight back into it. That deck seemed to work pretty well for us. Fro yeah, that's a cool name with the three. Nice. All right. I'm going to I'm going to do this, man. And okay, so you want to actually you, it doesn't matter. I believe well, it might. I think the barbarian only does a surrounding tile for his ability, so you want him to be in the center. I'm not sure if it reaches out too. We'll see here though. Okay. Bowler's going to be good right there. Knocking the king back so that the um shield maiden actually targets the mini pekka, which was solid. 
I feel like my um my giant let's oh no walk forward yo so that actually I didn't see where where all it went okay can we oh no he's gonna stun him dude bowler is OP now I love it I didn't think he was gonna get his ability back if he didn't have his ability right there we would have won two star bowler round one or one star bowler round one freaking sick like that was nasty all right, so Spear Gob. I love Spear Gob because, look, spear, uh, it stuns. So if you can get Spear Gob and Bowler in the same lane, it's good, but it kind of overlaps. So that's one reason why you actually probably don't want to do that. Um, oh, no. Let's see if he's centered again. I don't know if this guy is going to try and be sneaky or not. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh, no way. Miner. Yo, take it out. How is, she, how is the Shield Maiden still alive? How is the shield maiden still alive? Yeah, excuse me. How is the shield maiden? Yeah, the shield maiden. How is she still alive? Yeah, the shield maiden. Really? <laughs> that shield maiden had 0. .0002 health for probably seven seconds. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bowler time now. So we'll go extra damage. Oh, no. Uh, He has minor, so I'm going to actually get rid of my archer. We'll go here. And we'll go here. And I'm going to go here. And I'm actually going to drop off my miner in the back. Or my G Skelly in the back. And just see. Oh, that's good. And we missed ours. No, no, no. That was really. That was a very weird interaction right there. So this should be. Please. The retarget there just owned us. No. And then my bowler wasted it. My bowler wasted his ability on the no health. That was a very, very strange game to me. Um, they did just recently nerf the um, the shield maiden, but in my opinion, I think the Ewiz needs a nerf. I imagine that we will be seeing one. Ewiz is just really, really strong. Um, okay, cool. So we got that. Um, and then now we need to do... So we need to use one more challenge coin. And then we're going to work through some of these. These are annoying because it's win five matches. I might just go ahead and try and do some of that now. Play five. Okay, so play five games. I'll, wait a second. Maybe I can upgrade bowler. I'll definitely do that. Let's reroll this one. Play five games using magic archer. Is my magic archer... My magic archer is level one. Okay, cool. So it's only play five games. So that's not too shabby. Okay, um, we're going to have to test something here. Yes, we got it. So that should be pretty good because he's going to go bowl and then bowl. In my opinion, bowler on here is, is better than Ewiz sometimes. Obviously not better. Like, watch this. Watch this. Ewiz gets stunned and then stunned again. <laughs> but we still might lose this just because of how strong the Ewiz is. That stun ability and then now the shield. I need you to bowl bowler. Yeah, dude. So sick. So sick. Okay. Um, I might at legit do this. He's going to probably go spear grab in front of my king. I don't care if my king gets hit. He's actually probably going to go shield maiden right here. If he goes Ewiz on the front line... Why would you put Ewiz in the same lane, dog? Look at this. Ewiz gone. Ewiz dead before I can even do anything. Look at this. Bum. Guys, you have to pay attention. And I know he didn't... He Whoa! He didn't know that I had Magic Archer. Please shoot again. Uh, He didn't know that I had Magic Archer. But don't line... Th he didn't know that I had Bowler. So why would you line your Ewiz up behind that? That isn't... I know it might protect you from a spear goblin or whatever, but it just doesn't seem like the play. Well, obviously it wasn't the play. We'll go, we'll go stun here as well. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go like this. I need so the bowler can interrupt the spear goblin sometimes, and then it doesn't do its thing. So I always try and have it in the back. Oh man, now I wish I had my bowler. That was pretty nasty. Come on, magic archer. Do something. There we go. My bowler's popping off. Oh, no. No, his bowler traded. Watch this. 
Oh my gosh, I was about to say, if we lose that with three units, <laughs> we just wiped. Let's go. Nice. And we got some gold. I need to go check out the shop. Anything in here that I want that'll help me level up? Battle healer. Oh, I don't even have Ewiz. Oh, but I don't have 600. I don't have 750 gold. <laughs> Dang it, dude. I feel like I have to save for that Ewiz. I have to save for the Ewiz. Larry. All right. So we'll go bowler, archer. Scoot the bowler back one so that our king is targeted. Okay. So not putting the bowler right next to it. Scooting it back one so that it doesn't get targeted. Oh, didn't even use it. Wow. It's such an interesting strategy because I do understand it. I don't necessarily understand it on the first go around, um, but I do. Please. Nice. Oh, no. We might lose this. Archer Queen's ability is disgusting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But uh, actually, I was about to say, I feel like this guy will leave things where they were. We're going to go here. I'm going to go here. I want to get Spear God, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to try and pop him here. Line up with me. Okay, so no, he, so he's the type of player that probably isn't going to move anything. Good stuff. His Archer Queen's about to use her ability. Watch this. Locked and loaded. That's okay. Our archer, like I told you guys, is going to dominate. Absolute domination, man. One thing that I really like about this game is there's not much dead time. Like, I'm always able to talk. In Clash Royale, a lot of times, when I'm playing, like, there's time where, like, nothing's going on. And it's like, hmm, what should I talk about? I don't really know. Okay, so, since he's not doing anything here, we're just going to take his freaking, uh... We're gonna take his archer queen out. And now I could be wrong. He could he could move it right here. And I could be completely wrong. Because that's the strategy too. You try and make people think that you're staying in the same spot and then you don't. Nope. He did move her forward, but our spear cop. <laughs> the whole time he hasn't been using those things. Wait, how am I about to lose? Oh, I'm not. I was about to say, we just freaking took out his hero in the first two seconds. Dude, the bowler spear gob combo is disgusting. Now, here's the thing. Does he move it now? That's the real question. Uh, we'll go dissipate and uh, try and knock out his... Uh... I'm going to go here. I'm going to go archer right there. Uh, so, I'm going dissipate so that hopefully I can stop the Mega Knight from ever even using his ability. He was his dead. No, wait! We had dis- We had dissipate! Dude. I'm not gonna lie. How did that happen? I wasn't watching it directly, but literally, how did that happen? We didn't stop the Mega Knight at all. What? I'm shook, dude. All right, I'm going to I'm going to go full on here. Ah, I didn't use That's okay. My archer should take out that But still look, the dissipate Okay, it's kind of working. It's kind of working, but we're dead again. Unless my archer can do something here. Dude, the queen's ability. Why did Dissipate work that time and not the previous round? Maybe... Hmm... That's why I wish there were replays in the game. Because I don't know... I don't think the Mini P.E.K.K.A. targeted the... Um, I don't think that the Mini P.E.K.K.A. targeted the Lumberjack there. That seems off. That seems off just a little bit. Watch this. Yes. <laughs> Whatever he puts there is going to take insane damage and get stunned, and then Barb King's going to kill it. Mini Peck is done. <laughs> uh oh. 
Never mind. No, uh oh. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was freaking funny. <clears throat> so this time I'll scoot closer. And we'll just do work. Because if I'm further back, that means that... Like, I could target something over on the right side instead of whatever he puts right here. After this initial shot. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. He knew that I was going to full commit to that. No way. Get it out. Come on, Spear Gob. Yeah, dude. Still taking it home. And we miss Spear Gob and Bowler. Now, here's the thing. Is he going to try and is he gonna try and reverse psychology me and actually go on this this time? I don't think he is. How much do I have? Yeah, Archer. Nope. Uh, he doesn't have any like big boy damage. So we're gonna we're gonna full commit here. Okay, spear gob's gone, but that's all. Actually, Mini Pekka walked into the lane and got tagged by the spear goblin. Oh no, his Archer Queen. Archer Queen might win it for him. Very close. 3-0. Nice. Da -da -dum -da okay. Got another token. Oh, adventure begins. What are we going to get? Those are hero chests, right? Excuse me. Oh. Oh, unlock the Countess. Nice. Countess is actually super fun right now. Um, so that's sick. Look at that. We got it unlocked. Awesome. Oh, and I can upgrade it to level two. Okay. I'm a fan of that. Let's see what other kind of stuff we've got going on. So, uh, bowler, magic archer, still need that. Upgrade bowler, obviously. And then we have the countess quests. We're going to, we're going to do two more. Okay. I know that we're like, I, I don't know. This is going to be a longer video. We're going to hang out. You guys are just going to watch me play. Um, We'll go here, here. We'll re-roll, see if we can get another... Ah, okay. This actually should be pretty good. Countess is going to jump back to the archer, so I'm going to move it one forward. <clears throat> okay, so I made a mistake there. We're, we're, oh, I was about to say, we're still going to end up... Yeah, we'll still end up winning. Um, I, did, I lined them up, not thinking about him having a wizard. So now that I know he has a wizard, you do not want to line up in that cross pattern. We'll go stun. We'll go here. Now we should be good to go. But I'm actually going to do this. Archer back one. Oh, that sucks. Dang, and Magic Archer's only tagging one thing, so that's always brutal too. Archer doing a good job for us here. Might it still end up taking out the wizard? Yeah, but obviously not going to take it home for us. Okay, so we missed with the Spear Goblin. Um, <sighs> Magic Arrow does plus one. I don't know if I want that. I think I want plus three damage, and then I want a bowler. So I'm, I'm, I just, I have a feeling. I've got a feeling. That he's gonna be on the right side. Spear God Bowler. Dude, I was right. Let's go. Oh, that's the worst, though. All right, we already took his peck out. Yeah, dash back here. Oh, Ewiz. OP. Oh, no, our archer got taken out. So the Ewiz couldn't get finished. Wait, Magic Archer didn't... Those look like they were lined up for Magic Archer to get a double, but it didn't. All right, so now I think that he's going to go uh, down the other lane. Archer's doing a good job here. I don't know how Magic Archer is doing, so I'm actually going to yoink him and go dissipate here. And we'll, we'll go and do this. Ah, those are going to be lined up for the wizard. Yep, so we were right about him switching lanes. Uh, but once again, uh, the bowler was uh, on, targeted on the miner. Which isn't what we wanted. Ewe is going to go ahead and ult here. But we should still be fine. If the bowler does anything. 
Bowler decided not to do anything. Please shoot. Oh, Ewe's got a shot off. Otherwise, we would have won that. So, um, my, I keep putting my bowler in his minor lane, which isn't what we want. We'll go ahead and grab Boast here. Now I will grab this, and we'll level up Archer. So we're going to go this route, and I'm actually going to do this. So when he goes minor, our mini P.E.K.K.A. should take it out. Oh, okay, so Spear Gob's going to do work right there. No! Dude, his minor! It was on the edge! Yeah, he got us here again. That fast? Wow. So our the reason that we lost those was because of our... Um, do I need to be wasting these anymore? The reason that we lost those... Upgrade and play. Reason that we lost those was because our bowler missed, I think, three times in a row. Um, spear gob hit, but bowler missed. So we'll do this and we'll go right here. Nice. Oh, wait, that magic. His arrow almost looks like it curves. I want to slow that down. It looks like it hits and then veers just a little bit off. It doesn't look like it's a straight line to me. It looks like it hits and veers. What do you guys think? Are y'all seeing that too? All right, so before... He lined up to the left of that. I'm going to go one back on this just to try and prevent any sort of lineup issues. Okay. Nice. Like, look at that. I feel like... Yo, take it out. Yes. Like, I would think he would be hitting my Magic Archer right now, but he wasn't. Like, that looked like he was in a straight line to the Magic Archer, but it was missing. Hmm. I don't know. That's very interesting to me. We'll go plus three damage, and we'll reroll for this, and then we'll get Archer. Now, actually, his miner hasn't really been causing any problems. Um, what we got here? Yeah, it's smart plays. He completely ignored it, and so I just got destroyed. Thankfully, my archer is doing work. Yo, my archer is going to take out his thing over there. Sometimes you want your archer. Oh, I think I still lose. Yeah, I still lose. Dang. Shoot. <laughs> All right. So we missed spear gob and bowler on that one. So that was a like that was a huge whiff. So I don't. I still think I think he's going to do the same thing. Um. I need a mini P.E.K.K.A. So we'll go here. I don't think he's going to use it again. So we're going to go here and here. I'm going to go here. And mini P.E.K.K.A. should hopefully... Yeah, he didn't use it. Nice. Yeah, so mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to go... Hi there, Miner. Yeah, good stuff. Wait, is my Archer really only hitting... Okay, she's hitting two things. Nice. Magic Archer gone. That's game. Heck yeah. <clears throat> so if you whiff on Bowler and Mini and Spear Gob, then it's like, that's like 100% loss. <laughs> that's the whole reason that you use those units. All right. What are we going to get? I want to get one more uh, Adventure Road thing. Okay. Some gold. Yo, wait. This is a big chest. What's, it's frozen. It says times three. Wait, what's going on? All right, I closed out. Okay. Carrot. Oh, uh, I have wizard level three in my main and it's not that good. Nice, Skyfall two set. Yo, that was a good chest. 
All right, let's do one, uh, five matches. I can't do that in this video. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. I appreciate you guys. I hope that you all are enjoying Clash Mini as much as I am. I love you. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.